Hey, welcome to From Scratch Ranch and this quick fix it video for the friction brake on this Woodmiser LX25 sawmill. If you have one of these sawmills, they're a great hobby mill, um, but you may have encountered the same problem of the handle brake. This is how you crank it up. The brake is a friction brake and it just isn't holding anymore. It's not stopping. I can't keep it in a raised position at all. You know, it winds around and it just won't hold. The handle just falls on it. So if you have that same problem, this is how you fix it. Okay, before we fix this thing, let's just look at all the different parts that are involved here. So right here in the middle, there's this sprocket. And that's what holds it up. As you crank this up, that sprocket catches, as you can see, but this is still moving. So the sprocket's not moving, but the handle still is. That's the problem. What's holding this all in place and holding it up is a clutch. There's a clutch back here and then in between the clutch and the sprocket is a friction pad and then there's another friction pad on this side. So the sprocket is sandwiched between two friction pads and the clutch in the back. Then there's a spacer and then the crank handle over here and then the nut bolt that tightens this all together. So what we got to do is take this off, disassemble it, and I believe just retighten it all and put the nut back on. It should be as simple as that. So then the handle also screws off once you get the bolt off. This screws off. There we go. Okay, here we've got the, the spacer, the washer spacer, the hex to lock it in place on the handle. And then we've got the friction pad behind here and you can see the smooth uh, in the middle there. It's rough in the, the very center and then on the outside, it's, it's a little rough. Um, it's probably from the spinning on there, right? And smooth, wearing that down, smooth that out. So maybe this is a part that needs to be replaced. I'm not quite sure. Um, or maybe you just can sand it a little bit, rough it up, I don't know. Um, so I took that off and then we've got the sprocket and here's the other friction pad. Um, that's on there and then the clutch behind that. So we'll put that back on, make sure it's on the right way. And then the friction pad, the spacer, and back the handle again. And remember this thread's back on. And so as you tighten this on, just make sure on the back side, the hex part locks in. Get that as tight as we can get it until it starts to spin. Okay, so now it's starting to spin and wants to pull. So then what we have to do here is use some vice grips to hold that and pull this as tight as we can. Okay. Now I'm gonna hold it just in case. Okay, let's try it out and see what happens here. So, if I crank it up, will it hold? It worked. That was the trick. So now, my friction brake is working just like it should. Um, so, that's the key. It's a really quick fix. Just take that bolt off here, tighten down your handle using those channel locks holding that bar, tighten that down really, really well, and then put that bolt right back in there. This bolt here just helps hold this handle on in case it does come undone. It's not really tightening it on there. It's just holding it on so that it doesn't unscrew itself. Okay. There we have it. I'm back in business.
So for what I thought was gonna be a major issue that slowed me way down, it turns out it was just a really, really quick fix. So hopefully this video will help you guys out if you're having the same problem I am and fixing it quickly um, so that you can get back to sawing, just like I'm gonna do here with this old maple log. So if you're into this kind of a thing, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, so you can keep track of everything we're doing out here. We're building our homestead, our ranch from scratch. It has been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun to, to watch. So until next time, keep living the dream.